I sometimes get asked about an anti-science mentality, and I think there is an anti-science mentality in, in the Islamic world, not universal by any means. In fact, uh, uh, Glynis and I both know a great Pakistani physicist, Abdus Salam, but widespread, now, Abdus tried very hard to get the oil-rich countries of the Gulf, the Persian Gulf, to put money into science education. And he found it was very hard that they were willing to have engineering education, but they didn't want to get into, into pure science because they felt that was disruptive. And this is a view that goes back to uh, the 12th century. Um, the Muslim Brotherhood at one point advocated giving up scientific education in uh, Egyptian schools. But in, in the West, I don't find an anti-science mentality. What I find is a confusion about what science is. I testified in the Texas Board of Education hearings some years ago, and I, the, all the members of the board, of, they were discussing the issue of whether or not to have teaching of creationism in the schools. You know, this is a perennial issue. And they did not say as an antidote for science, but they thought real scientific um, training should teach you to be willing to consider different hypotheses, uh, which is something that I can't disagree with. Although, you know, we don't have our students study alternate theories of the shape of the earth, like the flat earth theory and the the round earth theory, because that's pretty well settled. And if students are going to study things that are controversial, they really should be controversial, which evolution is not, at least within the scientific community. So, uh, but uh, they were not anti-science. They were just confused about what science was. And I think that's really the problem. <laughs>